Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellie. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Be With the Purpose. So today we're gonna do a quick and easy everyday summer makeup tutorial, and so it's not gonna be anything like crazy, super glam, like nothing like that. And so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're going to just start out with our brows, and today I'm going to be using this Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Brown. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start priming my face and of course the primer I'm going to go in with is this Ulta Beauty Hydrating Face Primer and I'm going to take this one all over my face as usual. Next thing I'm gonna do is take this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and put this where my pores are more large. And now we allow that primer to kind of set, we're gonna go ahead and start on the eyes and I'm just gonna take my infallible full wear concealer and prime the eyelids. And then I'm just gonna blend this in with my Morphe sponge. Okay, I'm going to take this fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Loose Setting Powder to go ahead and set down um, the eyelids. Today I'm going back in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette and the first shade I'm going to take is MFEO. And we're gonna put that all over the crease and just kind of blow that out. I did go ahead and add just a little bit of silk cream into the crease as well. Next, I'm going to go in with my Ulta Beauty Blending Shadow Brush, and I'm going to take the shade Pooter and kind of just go on the outer corner and into the lower crease. Brush that we used MFEO and Silk Cream on, and we're just going to buff that out. Okay, going to take my Real Techniques Base Eyeshadow Brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Hunt and do the same thing but be a little bit more precise and a little bit more lower. Okay, going back in with the brush that we used the shade Pooter on, and we're just gonna once again make sure that everything is just super blended out. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the shade Faint, and I'm going to put that right here, like on the inner part of my lid. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of pooter and just kind of fix that eyeshadow. Going in with, it, with it just a tiny bit of hunt and we're gonna blend this out. Okay, what I'm gonna do is on the other side of this brush, I'm actually gonna go in with Little Lady and put just a little bit right here. 
I just want to deepen that up just a tiny bit. So I actually think I'm going to go ahead and use a firework. Yeah, firework was a much better choice. And then go back in with Little Lady and just kind of start making that lighter the closer we get to the inner corner. I'm gonna go in with just a tiny bit of faint and get right on the inner corner where we lost some of that. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna put the palette to the side for a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I wanted to go back in. I tried this a while ago on my channel, but I actually wanted to try out the Ulta Lash Primer. And this one is blue. So I did want to just try this out with a different mascara than the one that I had. And so I'm just going to do a light coat of this primer. Okay, and then the next thing I want to do is I want to take the CoverGirl Flourish by Lash, Bla Blash, ba <laughs> Lash Blast <laughs> and go ahead and go over that um, lash primer. Okay, so that's it for the top lashes right now. We're gonna go ahead and move on to foundation. And today I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. And I have mine in the shade 460. And yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and... And then I'm gonna go ahead and of course blend that in with my Morphe sponge. I'm gonna build that up on my forehead just a tiny bit like that wasn't even like half a pump that I just put on there next thing I'm gonna go in with is my concealer in the shade vanilla I'm going to take the Hard Candy Bake Brighten and Set Powder. I'm going to take to be very sparing with this because it does have really strong yellow undertones. And now I'm actually going to go ahead and take just a tiny bit of the e.l.f. or e.l.f. Wet n Wild powder. And what I'm going to do is just dust that lightly over the rest of my face. This foundation isn't as like mattifying and drying as the CoverGirl Matte Made foundation. So I do have to set this one. I just do it very lightly since my skin is dry. Go back in on the lower lash line and I am just going to go ahead and go straight into pooter. Go straight into pooter and buff that on the lower lash line. Okay, then I'm going to go in with just a tiny bit of hunts and I'm going to put hunts towards the outer lower lash line. Okay, and that's it for the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the lash primer and coat the bottom lashes. Going back in with my Flourish Lash, lash Blast Mascara. I'm gonna coat this top lashes one more time.
Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the shade Beam and highlight our brow bone. Okay, now back to the face. I'm gonna go ahead and take my number seven bronzer in the shade Maple and go ahead and bronze my face with this. I'm gonna go in my go into my Milani rose, my Milani blush in the shade Romantic Rose, and we're just gonna apply this to the apples and upper part of our cheekbone. Okay, going back in with this fluffy brush, we're just gonna blend that out just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take this highlighting palette in the shade Butterscotch. Now I'm gonna take the shade Starburst and just apply that to the tops of the cheekbones. That might be a little bit too light for me, so I am gonna go in with a, with a little bit of butterscotch. For the inner corner though, I am gonna go ahead and go in with some of Starburst and put some of that on my inner corner. And for lips, I'm going to take my Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in the shade Nude, I believe. Yes, Nude. And line my lips with this. Okay. Next, I'm going to go in with this ColourPop Lippy, Sticks, Lippy Stick in the shade Tipsy and just apply the coat of that. This actually matches that lip liner almost perfectly. Okay, then I'm going to go in with this Bare Minerals Gloss in the shade Flirt and just apply that over top. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and go in and curl my lashes one more time. If you're not comfortable curling your lashes after you apply mascara, you do not have to do this step. I am gonna go ahead and take a little bit of CoverGirl, of this CoverGirl uh, lip gloss in the shade Berrylicious, just to pinken this up just a little bit. Okay, and the last step is setting our face. Okay, you guys, this is the completed makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, if you and could, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah!